Hi, welcome back. Hope these videos are helping you uh, and or helping somebody you know or helping you help somebody you know. Uh, today I'm going to talk about perfectionism, the arts, politics, the internet, and ADHD. Oh, and education, of course, too. I have been uh, realizing the connections between the hyper-focus that a lot of ADHD folks have and perfectionism and the need to be right. And like, there's a bit of a moral issue there, uh, which I'll hope to, to uh, get back to exploring or maybe in a later video. But one of the things that I've been thinking about or realizing is that in the past, I was really driven to hyper-focus on small, minute details of music specifically because that uh, was what I grew up with and what I was inspired by. Um, I think I mentioned being in choir when I was young, and of course I'm a music teacher and a choir director. And uh, so I, I would just love getting lost in just the finest, most minute details, uh, both because it was satisfying to get something right, but also because it felt like the right thing to do to make something excellent. And so if I can focus really hard on just the tiniest little detail and expect that same uh, effort from the people that I'm working with, whether it's my bands or my choirs, um, then we all can make progress and learn something from that small detail and hopefully generalize it. And so I would do that. I would, I would focus on pronunciation of Latin or the articulation of a staccato note and then uh, once we had some success after some serious repetition and saying, no, no, keep going, do it again, do it again until we get it right. And once we get it right, we're going to move on to the next thing. But don't forget, once we've gotten it right, now we have to take that concept and generalize it to all of the times when we have that staccato note or that particular Latin vowel, uh, which also generalizes to a lot of other parts of singing, the Latin vowels in particular. Um, and so I would kind of enjoy that. And I think people enjoy that as well. I think people enjoy a deep dive into a new arena uh, that they're not as familiar with. And of course, for somebody with ADHD, the newness, the novelty is, is really a source of dopamine. And also, of course, for me, bringing people along with me and having people uh, listen and pay attention and respect that deep dive, that hyper focus, and wanting to go on that journey with me was also really exciting. So I've only been able to notice this since reflecting, uh, you know, after starting to take medicine, uh, because I can let things go. I, I talked about that last time, just let it go. Um, and so I'm in the middle of figuring out whether or not letting some of those details slide for the sake of the bigger picture is better. I surely think that's better for parenting um, because then I can let those smaller issues go and focus on the long game, like I mentioned last time. Whether that's a benefit in the arts and uh, group arts things, like a band or a choir, uh, or, you know, and the same thing would sort of apply to sports, I think. I'm excited for the Flames and the Oilers series coming up. That's going to be fun to watch. Um, sports efforts are similar to a group of uh, musical people working together. You know, it's a team thing and it's happening right now in time and space. So yeah, perfectionism. Is it a benefit or is, uh, you know, widening your scope, widening your view to the whole uh, and to the long-term thing? I, I'm not sure yet, but I know that I'm different in my approach currently. And I think the same question applies to politics, the internet, and social media. And I think the the problem is that it's not as obvious that it's a process, because when you post something on social media, like this video, there's a sense of completeness to it. I'm not going back to edit it. It's there. And what I'm saying right now will be the same ostensibly forever. Same thing with Twitter, same thing with any other social media thing. And so, it's a little bit less about the process and more about this is what I firmly believe, even though it's still only what I firmly believe right now or understand to be true because everything we know and are doing and saying and learning is a part of the process. But when we consume social media or any media, we assume that it's final. Like, well, this is what this person believes. And so it's easy, you know, for the 20% of us who have that gene and maybe have ADHD symptoms or 
for the folks who have ADHD symptoms because of their social media or because of their family situation. Um, there are certain family situations that cause ADHD symptoms, which I can talk about another time. There's a book called The Boy Crisis. That's what I'm referring to, if you're interested. Um, those of us who live with these ADHD symptoms see something online and get hyper-focused on, but they're wrong and it's my role to fix. It's my job to fix their wrong opinions because their opinion that they've stated is fully formed and totally final. Not, and, it, and, and we don't see, just like I referred to earlier, we can't see, I can't see that what you say on social media is a part of a process. It's a part of your journey. It's so hard to understand that. Uh, and maybe impossible for some of us to say, oh no, they're processing, they're learning about what they think by saying it out loud to see how it lands. So that's what I've been thinking about. And I think that it's such a hard challenge to, to zoom out and see the global picture. I don't mean like geographically, I mean like the bigger picture of, you know, parenting or the process that somebody's going through when they're posting something on social media or creating an artistic work in a group uh, or being on a sports team and like trying to win. Um, because there are so many different aspects, it's so complicated, which maybe is why a lot of us who want to pay attention to 79 things at the same time are engaged in group arts and group sports or, you know, whatever kind of team thing uh, and enjoy the uh, complexity of all that. Yeah, so a global vision, a bigger vision, zoom out and allow for yourself and others to be in the process and maybe don't hold everybody to account forever for what they've said online because we're all growing and learning. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>